Good morning. This is Margaret Fetty at the University of Sewing and it's Facebook Live Yay. and it's Saturday and I have Caitlin again. Oh. So everyone, you guys are so wonderful. You know, we do this share thing every week and our numbers keep on growing. You keep on supporting us and we are so, so grateful. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um, apparently, we need to highlight the entire state of Florida this week. We have shipped so many things to Florida. Wow. And isn't it interesting? Sometimes you never know where it exactly comes from. But I have a feeling that our sharers, those folks oh. that share, that had something to do with it. So, today we are going to give away a University of Sewing tote bag. And yes, it does say Bernina on the back. And you may not be a Bernina person, but I'll bet you're a university sewing person since you were watching our videos. And we're going to give this away to the person who shares. We put your name in a group of, uh, you know, we, we put, take everybody's names mm -hmm. and we put them in a little basket and we pull a name out and you could be the person. I mean, it used to be we'd have four or five people. And yeah. they know who they are. We love them dearly. <laughs> and now it's usually 10 or 11 people. Oh, nice. I'm looking forward to the day when it's 20 people. Yeah. Won't that be awesome when we get that many people doing it? And so you can win this. And no, you don't have to live in Bloomington or the surrounding areas. We'll be happy to ship it to you. So make sure that you share and let us know. In you the mean comments. like Tony? Hi, Tony. I'm so glad you shared. Thank you very much. We so appreciate it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside for the moment because we have so much today. Yeah. We have so much. Now, I want to remind you guys about something because each week we have more and more people. They come in and they thank us for all the solids we have. Isn't that, th this, number one, that's nice of you, but we did it on purpose. We want you to come in and know that we have all these solids and blenders for you. Um, you know, it's very typical. Quilters are going to be working on some project. We need to highlight with some solids. We need a blender to mix up with things. And um, there's a really good selection here. I think we've really done a good job. We also have a lot of batiks. A lot of our boutiques are more like kind of the solidy ones because mm -hmm. we want to make sure that what we have is when you go to do that project, you feel like you can put a trim on it. You can put, and now that might be a clothing or a bag project, yeah. but if you need something to make your print pop, isn't a solid just a great way to do that or a blender? So I want to remind you about those things, you know, I am standing right next to these extremely reasonably priced horn cabinets. Now this is going to be most appropriate for your medium and smaller machines, but they need a cabinet too. So these are really, really reasonable. We got them on a closeout deal from Horn. Yes, they're completely warrantied. Don't worry about that. But because we got them on a deal, we're giving you, we're passing along those savings to you. And as you can see, a 5 Series fits into it quite nicely. It's got the space back here. It's got a nice space right here. And you have a drawer. Horn also has, I believe, a small cabinet. Well, I'm not sure it's going to fit under here. But sometimes your smaller little cabinets could. A little... Thing of drawers or maybe mm. one of those little plastic things with the uh, file drawers or oh, something yeah. that would probably fit under there so you can put stuff under there too so I just want to remind you we deliver our cabinets for free and this is available I think we only have three more so guys get them while you can um, you know what we were oh by the way the reason I thought about this is because when we were at BU we were we were totally getting to visit with the horn people and they come out with some new cabinets. So, you know, we have the Bernina cabinets, mm. but we also sell horn cabinets. So if you are not seeing the cabinet you want here in the shop, we've got the whole catalog of horn cabinets. So you can just go through, you can say, okay, Margaret, I want that. And I want it in that pretty gray. 
Oh. They come in other, other colors. colors. Yes, nice. they do. They do. They come in really pretty colors. And then they have like matching cabinets that you can get like with drawers and things. Oh, that so seems those... dangerous. <laughs> it's really quite fun. But the other folks that we got to see were the So Steady people. And that's kind of a tie-in because the So Steady people can make an insert for any machine practically. That's exactly right. So if you have a cabinet and you want an insert for it, the So Steady people are those people that do that. Oh. But you know what? It doesn't matter which brand or which machine you have, including these cute little featherweights. Yeah, we yeah. can get you a So Steady table to fit around that. Because look how nice this surface is now for you to sew on. And so you are not stuck with it. So if you're in a situation where you're, you really do have to put it on a table, isn't this going to make it a lot easier? Because you're going to have a lot bigger surface for your fabric to sit on. And it's not going to fall off as easily. You're going to have a lot more support. One of the things I always recommend to people is you get these little tables that fit on the Berninas use those because mm. if i mean if you need the free arm obviously don't use those right. but if you don't if you can use a table because it'll create some support and then you won't have the drag and you won't have to like you know you're <laughs> always doing that yeah, yeah you're hefting it up there so think about that so remember um we do the so steady tables and you can order those right now because guess what else i have I have a few things of fabric to show off today. A few? A few. Yeah, Alice gave me a little bit of a hard time yesterday because she says we're still supposed to get another 100 bolts of fabric this Oof. month. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to get. So, we need to make so, more space. Well, I think I have a great way to make more space. Check out these particular fabrics. Now, yes. I have not talked about Spirited before. Oh, today's the first day you're talking about it with Facebook. Facebook has not heard me talk about Spirited. We got it two Thursdays ago. And when we got it, the interesting thing was it literally has been flying off the shelves. We are now down. We started off with 24 panels. Mm -hmm. We're down to 12. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it's in that half. And it's sore. We've gone through one whole group of that fabric. Awesome. So, guys, if you like Spirited, and isn't that just like the prettiest it's so horse, pretty. get on there and get it ordered because it's. I have a feeling we've got one more week and it's going to be gone. Wow. Um, one of the fabrics is already gone. Really? Which one? The one that looks like this background right okay. here. Okay. In the teal version. Uh -huh. There's one in a browner version. And we still have a little bit of that, but it's going like crazy. So make sure that you get it ordered if you like that. In SOAR, it's going to be the same thing. Now, we ordered twice as much of SOAR than we did of Spirited. So we have a little bit more of that, but it's going to go too. So it would be, can't you imagine if you got a SOAR kit for a Christmas present? Oh, yeah. Oh, I totally love that. So I think that would be And I lovely. was just saying to my husband today, wintertime's coming up. I'm getting in the mood to switch from clothing now to work on quilts because I'll be inside so much. So so we have a lot of flannel, lots of Ooh, knitting. You know we have some flannel stuff. backing this 108. Oh, why not? So we got that. We'll talk about that more next week. But I want to remind you, we oh now it's flying off the Here, it's flying it off the door there at me. Look how cute this is! Wouldn't this make a great Christmas present? Mm -hmm. I have a few people in my life who would love that. This is going this is going to my cousins in uh, California. Oh, they perfect. used to have they used to have a uh, a, a scar bar. Ooh, <laughs> and now they live close to wineries. Yeah. So we're going to send this little, and they love to cook. Oh, so this is This will be then. fun. This will be fun. So we have that. Let's go ahead and come in here and see if we can't show off some fabulous fabric. Um, so what we've got right now is I've got a lot of pre-cuts. I've got a lot of fabrics to show off. So this, guess what we just got in, guys? All the new Marcia Durst line. So, I brought the Marcia Durst fabrics so you guys could get just a wonderful look at all of these. They are so interesting and different. 
Now, I still have some from her previous lines. Um, this one is one of them. It is really beautiful. And look how it goes so well with what else has come out. It's pretty cool. So we've got those. I think we need to talk about this one, too, because it's name of the color of the fabric is Margaret. Which one? This one. This one's called Margaret? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's fabulous. Okay, so apparently we have a fabric called Margaret. I had no idea. So I don't pay enough attention, apparently. But I like these a lot. They're so fun. Um, when I was putting them in the system, I was like, oh my gosh, I want this. Like all these rain ones. I know. These the rain colors, ones are so them. different and so unusual. They're just beautiful. Now, don't forget, she's got the spotted graffiti. And you know what? They're kind of come out with more of these. So these spotted graffiti go really well with everything else here. So they're so beautiful. <laughs> We're going to lose you behind the stuff. I, you're not going to be able to see me in a minute. <laughs> so oh, don't these forget, are fun we too. got this back in because it's so fantastic with them. We thought we needed it again. But here's the two really they're kind cool. of spectacular prints here. So there are some really different and unusual things going on here. They look like postcards. Yes, and that's what it's called. It's mm -hmm. called postcard front. And then the one here, this is so funny. This is postcard back. But you know what? There's no writing on them. Like, how can it be the postcard back if there's no writing? Yeah. <laughs> so what's up with that? You're going to have to write stories on here with those those pens. Oh, that would be really cool. Yeah, yeah that yeah. would be so I think these could be some amazing art quilts. Oh now, Dave, goodness. you should probably just move over a little bit and show off my circle quilt again that I did with Spotted Graffiti so that people see that it is really a standout fabric. These are amazing. If you want to make something that's just going to really stand out, be very art looking without a tremendous amount of effort to get there. I mean, she's done all the work. Now you just need to put it into some really cool things. Um, one of the things that I want to point out is that in our website, there is a link to her lookbook. Mm. So um, I, I have to put it with every one of them. I want to put a, a, the lookbook link on each one of the fabrics. Okay. So people can look at. We'll get that done today. Yeah. But there are at least a dozen quilts in that lookbook and it's going to be pretty fantastic so you'll give you tons of ideas even if you're not fond of exactly the colorway she did it you can come up with your own colorways i mean that is the one of the really fun things about that mm -hmm. so we've got these really gorgeous gorgeous fabrics and i am so excited oh you don't know and Pat doesn't know. Pat's here today, too. We are going to be running a Christmas stocking contest for our employees. What? <laughs> oh, boy. So, there's going to be a Christmas stocking contest for our employees. But, you know, I think that you guys out there, if you really, and I love Christmas stockings and I love Christmas, I think that it would be fun to see what some of our customers oh, yeah. would come up with, too. But I want to see what our employees come up with. So our customers, we're going to talk about how we're going to bring you into this and doing a Christmas stocking contest with you. But remember, the employees are going to have to pull off something kind of fun and wonderful. Oh, gosh. Their, 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 size are turning. their size limit, they can go up to 36 inches. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> so right. we're gonna have fun with All this right. okay so now i just showed off these oh by the way we have pre-cuts out of the random thoughts that's what this line is called is random thoughts by marcia durst and she's also got this 32 piece bundle or excuse me 33 piece bundle two of those pieces are actually one yard so it is not just fat quarters it's 31 fat quarters and two one yard pieces. It's got one yard of postcard front and it's got one yard of postcard back. So it's gonna be like that whole group of fabrics 
you are going to be able to do something amazing with. But if you wanted to, there, I can't reach it. You can probably I'll yeah, just we'll just sneak, just around, sneak around. Well, let's show them line. This group right here is a kind of very interesting stripe group. And this one only has in it 12 pieces, but it goes really well with random thoughts. And so this will be a great group of fabrics. And I mean, I'm just envisioning so many fun quilts out of that. I, I'm really excited about that line. Yeah. So over here, we're going to kind of turn these guys. This group of fabrics is from Free Spirit. And I will tell Whoa. you, it's really interesting the way they printed these. This one in particular, it practically looks like it's a crepe. But it's not. It's just the way they printed it. It is so interesting. And the colors are amazing. Really pretty. It is really, really pretty. It's got this beautiful purple with kind of a gray green in the background. Mm -hmm. And the gray is really light. So it's just really, the whole thing is just really gorgeous. So we've got that particular one. And the other one that's in that that's printed identical to that is this green and it's got this wonderful taupe kind of color with it or brown it is very very pretty the print is really interesting i don't know what they did it almost looks like it's opalescent it does you're right it's it's very very interesting and there's another piece right under here that kind of pulls all those colors, but is very different. It's very different. I wouldn't necessarily use them together, but it's got the same kind of printing technique with this opalescent kind of look. It looks like somebody has just taken opalescent fabric paint and covered these. It's very, very interesting. Um, when we got these in, we all like kind of took a serious look and like I'm getting out my glasses and I'm looking at it really hard because I'm like thinking, okay, this is really different. So I'll take that. So I'm worried we're going to have a fabric avalanche on well, our Well, we might, we might. And then I got this one and this, and I know there's not necessarily a line here. But there's so many interesting things I'm like envisioning with these different fabrics. They could be your star fabric, and then you could work with the colors that are in here. And the colors are very saturated and rich. Uh, it's just a really lovely group of just, I know, they, I know they don't like go together, but I love these fabrics and I thought, you know, somebody's gonna, see one of these and it's gonna end up being something really special oh, yeah. i mean i could see this being a dress or a top because it's like snake skin it is of. really interesting very pretty so there's some really gorgeous stuff that we're adding the free spirit fabrics these five that i just showed you they aren't in the system but they will be today so we'll get them in there by monday you'll be able to buy them they're really interesting and beautiful so i want you to see those okay i found yes we're going to show this off first this guy we have to make sure she's right side up josephine wall now there are a lot of people out there who really love her artwork she does some very futuristic very mother of the earth kind of looking artwork um, this fabric is so pretty and I'll bet every one of us knows someone who would just really love these fabrics. This is perfect for a pillow. It's perfect for a quilt. You could take and cut these apart and make them as part of a feature of a quilt. It is, the colors are so saturated and deep and very, this one, I feel like the whole line is very centered on kind of um, these warm, rich, earthy colors. And when you see the other colors that come with this line, I think you'll see what I mean. Not that there aren't blues, there are blues in here, but it is, everything's very deep and, I mean, the, these howling wolves is very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then there's this one. 
I have some young ladies in my life. I think this would really appeal mm -hmm. to them. Very interesting. This stuff. one is whoa. This one is whoa. This is the floral that kind of goes with this. And check these out. There are little butterflies in it and gorgeous irises and there's roses in it and there's I mean daisies and oh my goodness it's just one of the most bright popping florals without sometimes florals can be too sweet yeah that's they can true. be too sweet this one I think is is very dramatic and rich but I would not necessarily put it into the sweet category no. so very beautiful and if you are looking for something for the autumn check out this beautiful leaf fabric it's again very very rich and deep and lots of color in it and if you were going to do something for an autumn piece you had something in mind for thanksgiving for any time through the autumn this would be a fabulous fabric to add into something and then i think what they tried to do with this one was bring in spring so here's Aww. one with these tiny little birds on it it's so sweet they're very, they're all over the place. They're oh, so I didn't even notice those. Yeah, no, they're really cute. It's like they have little love birds here and little blue birds and stuff. So, and then of course you've got some great blenders to go with this line. So I think that that is going to be some sort of great quilt for like, or, or it could be a throw or there's all kinds of things. So the panel and then the matching fabrics to go with it. We're going to finish up with just something a little more calm because I don't do calm very well. <laughs> We're going to do a little calm. We have these wonderful little pre-cuts we just got in. I am not really good about having lights. Oh. I do dark better. Yeah. I tend to pick my dark jewel tones and rich colors and I tend to pick a lot of dark stuff. So what I wanted to make sure is that I always have some really great light brights that we can add into our quilts. And so, those are so cute. They are so cute. So we have the jelly roll. We have the fat quarter bundle. That's, that would be a pastry. Oh, it'd be a pastry. <laughs> cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. We have the, no, it doesn't, it's not cinnamon. So it's a nice iced roll. Yeah. So, okay. And then we have the charm packs. So very, those cute little five inch squares. So we all need some of these to add into our five inch charms that we have because we need some brights in it. So it is set and ready to go. Those also, so, so, I'm sorry. I just didn't have enough of me this week. Um, I did, these will be in the system too, I promise by Monday, okay? But I had to show them off because they are so darn cute. And this is actually a packet of five of them, but we will take those apart and it'll just be one little packet of 42 inch charm packs. So, but nice pack of jelly rolls. There is, um, these are the two and a half inch wide strips. And of course, it forgot to tell me how many. Typically, there is, I think 42 of those also. Like that feels sounds, like that's, right? yeah, I feel like that's right. And so, and then this big packet of, are, uh, and again, the Fat Quarter Bundle, I think there's 42 of those in there too. So nice groups of fabrics, great stuff here. You don't have to buy yardage. You can always buy the pre-cuts. We're trying to have more of them in the shop. We also just added a whole big bunch of kits. And next week, I will show off some of the kits we have added. Ooh. So we have an entire collection of store kits. Mm -hmm. We have some new little, um, they're really sweet. They will create a wonderful block for you. And then what you can do is you can take and either frame that out or you can use that as a start for a quilt. So some really good starter projects, some really cute stuff. 
We've got a new book out that is using your fat quarters. I will bring that out to show you next week. No, you won't. You won't be here. Oh, I'm not going to be here next week. Oh. Maybe that's what you guys can do, though. I'm not going to be here next week. You're already in there. Okay, we're going to have to talk who's to Who's going to do week. it? I don't know. We'll find out who's going to do it. Well, we'll have them show off the kits. Yeah. We'll have them show off the kits, and we'll have them show off um, the, the, the cute little fat quarter box. How about that? Sounds so good. That's what we're gonna do for next week and we'll find something really wonderful for the giveaways. I'm gonna be visiting my granddaughter, so oh, sorry God. about not being here. So what are you gonna be off doing? I'm going to a concert in oh. Detroit. Oh my goodness. Well, I bet you will have fun. I hope so. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, Margaret, you have to thank everyone. Everyone has been sharing this oh, morning. you guys are the best. So today's share is the University of Sewing Bag. We're going to give you a University of Sewing Bag, and we are we're getting ready. Oh, we haven't told you guys the news. We're getting T-shirts made. What? That's news <laughs> to me too. I find out so much so, stuff when I come so. in on Saturday. Well, you're gone all week. I know. So you it's like it, Christmas so. for me then when I come in. Get to see all the new stuff. Hear it's the new always things. fun. It's always fun. Well, everybody, we've got lots of things coming up this fall for you and events. Remember, Gail Yellen is coming in October. That's going to be amazing. Mm. We've got things planned for January. We've already got a Q event planned for January. I was looking at events and classes today because I want to do your knit class. Okay. All right. Well, I have a number of people who want to do the knit class, and I promise I'll let you guys know when that one's yes. coming up. It's coming up pretty soon though. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it going. So. Okay. All right. Everyone, come and visit us. I miss you. Um, thank you for all the sharing. We do appreciate it. And I hope you have a fabulous Saturday. We will talk to you soon. And I, Caitlin and I won't be here next week, but I'll bet you Denise is gonna help. Denise, I bet. Yeah. I'll bet Denise is gonna she'll help. Do great, so she'll do a fabulous job. She's always so much fun. So have a great week, everybody, and we will see you next Friday and Saturday for Facebook Live.